here at Daytime Buffalo, we are no stranger to stories that uplift, provide hope, and celebrate triumph over adversity. Our next guest is Jessica Calaruso, who's here to talk about the incredible story of her daughter, Tiana, who was born with a rare chromosome abnormality called 9P minus. Jessica and Tiana, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, thank you for having us. This is Tiana. She is 12, and this is Big Brother Denny. Hi, Denny. How are you? Very supportive, Big Brother. We see. <laughs> oh, very. Yeah. Can you explain to our, our viewers about um, Tiana's uh, her her, med her medical? So background. chromosome 9p minus is very very rare. Um, there is a portion of her chromosome 9 that's missing, and she was born with this condition. And it is very rare, so it's been very difficult for us to get answers about what that means for her and what her life is gonna be like. Uh, she does have a lot of medical issues. She was born only a pound and a half and spent five months. That's <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> that was three. you as a baby. Yeah, in, in, like the, three. in the NICU. And uh, when she came home, she's had multiple surgeries and uh, she has been in and out and a frequent flyer at Oshai, that's for sure. I know, I go, aww. Like <laughs> that, that's cute. Some of the situations that we are, we are in, they're very, very scary, especially from <gasps> older sibling point of view. Yeah. You don't know when, when, they're gonna come, when, when they're gonna come home or, you know, how long it's gonna be. Yeah, that must be really scary as a parent and like you just said, as a big brother, to constantly be dealing with so many issues and health complications. Absolutely, and um, as much as we love Oshai Children's Hospitals and all the doctors who have been wonderful to her, uh, one of the scariest parts is just not having answers. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they don't know much about 9P-, so um, we are just always constantly trying to connect with other families and um, you know, get answers. Now, just how rare is 9P minus? Uh, approximately one in 50,000 births. Wow. And there can be such a wide range in characteristics uh, because it depends on the section that's missing. Yeah. So um, a lot of children are nonverbal. A lot of children have autism, epilepsy. Um, as you can see, she's very verbal. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> she's on the other extreme. Every time of Mm -hmm. Tiana likes to speak. Yes, she does. <laughs> All the time. And she loves to talk. She likes my shoes, too, so she's a great girl. But you guys are working actively with an event coming up to just help to support your community, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, this is such a unique opportunity. In July, the summer, uh, we're going to have a reunion conference in East Aurora where all the families from around the country and even around the world can get together and uh, support one another. The kids get to meet each other wow. for the first time in, in most cases. And uh, there's a research team coming, so they're gonna find out um, and share with us all kinds of information that they've been gathering and putting together a research study. So that is very, very exciting and promising for families. We just really wanna make that successful because uh, families have been really the best support for one another to compare stories and try to get answers. Absolutely, it must be so incredible being in a room with some people that finally understand everything that you're going through considering how rare this is, right? Yes, absolutely. So where is this conference happening and how can people support? So in, it's going to be in East Aurora this summer in July and um, we are doing a basket raffle this upcoming Sunday, um, the 21st, and um, it's going to be at Pioneer Christian Fellowship in Yorkshire. So we're gonna have a basket raffle, 50-50, um, some bigger ticket items to raffle off and try to raise funds to make our July event really successful. Which is really, really awesome. And maybe if people can't help you, but uh, can't you know, give a basket raffle, but they really wanna support you, how else can they show their love and support? Um, so through our um, Venmo, we're collecting donations to try to raise funds for that. And um, if they can't attend the raffle itself, then they can still make donations. What do you want to say to other families that may be going through this? I know it's so rare and, and you're going to have that opportunity, but even other really rare diseases, especially being a parent. Um, just that 
one day at a time. And people told me that in the beginning and it was frustrating to hear, but it really is so true. Um, the doctors initially did not think that she would probably survive and told us that she'd probably never walk and that her quality of life would probably be very poor, um, which and you look can at see her now. <laughs> not the She's case at all. She's smiling. She walked in here today. She's talking. I love your dress. You she look is beautiful. Known as the sunshine. Yes, she is sunshine. absolutely a sunshine. Thank you so much for coming in and Thank sharing you your story. Us. Thank you for having us. Now, if you would like to go to this event, it's Sunday, May 21st, 2 to 5 p.m. Tickets are a $15 donation. You can contact Jessica at jdtcolorusso at yahoo.com for tickets or for basket donations. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Thank you for, for having us. us.